Hello Lilas, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here with Baby Aspen. Guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad. And if you would, you can join my paid channel membership, which is called the Chatterbox. The link is in the description bar. And it is $1.99 to join and you do have to be at least 18 years old. Also guys, if you wanna follow me on Instagram, for more photos, it is Miss Serenity underscore Smith, and my blog is Miss Serenity Smith Babies.com. All right, so today I am going to answer, I wanted to answer these uh, five questions. Oh, not five questions. Um, this question from a tag that Wishes and Wonder was doing. And I don't know, I was looking at her new baby, and then I just kind of got caught up in her. The uh, question was, what are your five top movies, a uh, top five movies, however, which way you want to say it. And um, I'm going to put him on a hat and see what he looks like with a hat. But I just really came to show, show him and what he's been wearing for the last week. <laughs> um, let me see. So, so yeah, so he has on this little little rumper and yeah so I was like oh let me see where I put him on a hat um one day I might get him rooted but I, I kind of have been enjoying him as just a ball baby so since it's black history month I thought I would come on and show most of my AA babies um because I don't want to not participate in black history month um, even though I'm black all month, every month, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so he's my little private baby. Now I'm going to put Zuri over here and get her changed out in similar colors. And then I'm going to probably in the end, maybe do Charlotte if I have time, but five top movies, guys, I am one of those people that watch movies and I need time to sit and concentrate because I don't want to miss out on anything. Because me, my mom, my grandma, my cousins, we always like quoting movies. Like we, that's what we do. We be quoting movies. Like everything you do and say will will relate it to something in some type of movie. So, um, all right. So my my number one movie of all times is um, Love and Basketball. Um, anyone that knows me will know that that is the movie that I love, Love and Basketball. Um, and I would tell you the favorite part that's so relatable, um, to me in that movie. Why is it like looking foggy? Uh, hang on. I don't know why, but it's like, like, why is it not focused? It's not really focusing in on her face. I don't know why. It's like it's blurry. Ugh, that is irritating me. Okay, I don't know. Anyway, um, so love and basketball, love and basketball. My my, there's two favorite scenes. Um, one is when the very beginning, of course, when they finally is two um, two kids grew up together, both play ball. Um, the girl play ball. She's a great basketball player, and the boy is a great basketball player and they're friends and they they're neighbors and they catch rides to school together and all that stuff and of course she's crushing on him secretly but she's tomboy and she doesn't think he will like her or whatever and anyway so he become her first and then in the end um they basically break up in college and then um but in the end, they they play ball, and I, I, this is an old movie, so hopefully y'all seen it because I'm definitely gonna tell the end part because that's my favorite part. 
is when he they're playing ball and and he's like he's like I'll play for your heart and they're playing they're playing they're playing and she really wants to win because she really wants his heart and um, I think no she says I'll play you for your heart and she's like the greatest basketball player but then he beats her I think yeah he beats her and she just you know start crying or whatever and then of course you know oh it's just so i just love it um and and it and it kind of relates to something similar that happened to me in my life um in a relationship where um i don't want to get too deep into that but so that's why i love loving basketball it's it, that that in part is definitely fully relatable and i cry every time but <laughs> um that's number one brown sugar is my next one um, and they are kind of similar, um, of course, uh, Sanai Latham or whatever her name is, um, she plays in both. I, I love, I love it. I love Brown Sugar. Tay Diggs is in there as well. Um, so those two are my, my top two always go-to movies, but there is a movie and this movie actually um really 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 um makes me um i don't know it, it really makes me think and i really I, like every so many years i always forget the name of it i have to look it up i've bought it on different like net uh, i don't know if it's netflix or one of them i bought it on or my tv i don't know i bought it before so i can save it um, I, it's, uh, Passion of the Minds by Demi Moore. Demi Moore used to be one of my favorite actors. Um, her and Jada Pickett, um, I, I used to love to watch, um, watch them. But, um, uh, Passion of the Mind is a very old movie that Jada Pickett played. I mean, not Jada Pickett, Demi Moore played in. And what happened in this movie is she is caught in between two worlds and she's she fall in love with two men she fall in love with two different men and i don't never know which side these bloomers go on but i was just i'm gonna just put them on um so she falls in love with these uh these two uh men um, one in each world from, you know, different times. One, and one, she's married to this man and she has a child with, with him, a daughter. And she loved her kids. I don't know if it's one or two kids. I can't remember. I watched it in a little while. But she, she falls in, she's in love with him. And I think, you know, the kids are like, you know, the drawing factor because I think, in the other life the other guy it's more you know she's like she's in in love with the other guy um i think she is she loves the other guy but it's not as you know it's not that burning fire desire love like she has for the other guy in the other world and she can't determine which one is real and which one is not so she, it's like she's trapped in between her mind. And um, so, you know, you, you're sitting there and you're wondering which life will she choose? Will she stay in the one without her children? Like that means you got to She got to she got to let go of her, her children or her daughter. She got to let go of her if she choose the other man or vice versa. It kind of reminds you of Outlander. Now that I think about it, that's a series that I'm watching. But um Oh my God, I think I'm going to watch it again today um, because I always go back and watch it. But I think because that movie is almost my top movie, honestly, because it's a movie that I I go back and forth, back and forth. I watch it every so many years. I, I say, oh, I need to watch this movie. Um, I think because I have such a big imagination and... Um, I, I tend to dream a lot. 
So when I see stuff like this, it's like, it makes me think like that would so be me. Like, you know, trapped in between a dream and a real life and don't know which one is which. Um, but yeah, it's a really good, good, good movie. Good love story. Good, you know. Um, the other movie that I love. So what is that? Three. So this one, I'm going to just count it as one, even though it's two because it's a taken, taken and taken part two. Um, I love taken, um, not takers, takers. I like, but it's not my top movie because I don't like to see my favorite guys get killed. Um, taken is this movie. I don't know even know what he is, but he, oh God, I love his voice. And his daughter gets kidnapped and he goes off to another country to save her. And um, they're doing like trafficking, human trafficking there and stuff. And his daughter and her best friend get taken and he goes to try to save her. But man, he's he's amazing. Like it's an action movie. He, he you know, he gets those guys like good. Um... But it's it's one of my favorite movies. Like that's another one I go back and watch every so many years. I just watched that one actually both here recently. Um so so that's what that's for. And number five would have to be um Um, um, uh, uh, um, I don't know. What's number five? What's number five? What's number five? Um, well, I'm going to give a comedy, um, moving. I love moving with Rich, Richard Pryor. I, it's a tie between moving and hear no evil, see no evil, but I'm going to say moving. And it's when he, him and his wife decides to move and this, um, the the real the when he's looking at the house going to look at the house the guy keeps saying he says oh I love the the cabinets I love the doors he's like yeah I'm gonna take the doors with me yeah I'm gonna take everything he's the guy tells him he's gonna take it with him but then he laughs about it but when he moves in the house the guy really did take everything like the cabinets doors the windows the pool <laughs> like everything he joked about he really did take. And so they really like have a shell of a house when they get there. So it's it's crazy. Oh my God, she's so amazing. Um, I just hate that it's not focusing in on her. But I'll take her some photos and put them on my Instagram. But yeah, I so I really I I am very much a movie watcher. I thought that was a really good tag. I know it's not it's not even doll related really, but yeah. I, I, those are some good movies. So it's, uh, let's go back and name them. Love and Basketball, Brown Sugar, um, Taken, Two and, Taken, Regular Taken and Taken Two. Um, I think and it's a three. I think I liked, but yeah, all of the Takens. Um, Passion of the Mind, no, Passion of the Mind before Taken. Passion of the Mind with Demi Moore and, um, moving with Richard Pryor so those would have to be my top movies now if we do like series ooh, I would have to come back and think about that one but like Netflix series or Prime series um right now I am so catching up on um Sisters by Tyler Perry um I I, I binge watched that and now I'm up to the current season which really got me hooked um, I think that comes on BET regular. And then, um, of course I am so addicted to Outlander right now. So I'm on halfway through season five, season six is about to come out. Um, Virgin Rivers was, oh my God, was crazy, crazy. Um, I was in love with the Ozark, but this last series, I've just been kind of like, I don't know. It it, it was it was kind of dragging and kind of getting on my nerves a little bit. Um, what is another series that I like a lot? Um, 
oh my gosh i can't think right now but yeah so i watch a lot um especially now i watch a lot of series because of like when i'm painting and stuff i be wanting stuff to just keep playing so i watch a lot of a lot of uh series um but anyway this is non-doll related so i well other than you guys did see, see some of my 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 chocolate babies um i do have two other chocolate babies that i did not show which is memphis and jersey um, but I will, uh, will share them later. Um, hopefully I will make me a, a chocolate baby, a really cutesy chocolate baby one day. Um, I'm just waiting for the right sculpt. I bought a sculpt, a kit, and I thought that was going to be a cute baby for a chocolate skin tone. And I really wasn't really feeling it. So I, I didn't, I didn't do it. Um. So I'm gonna wait. Um, I thought I thought about uh, I wanted a Laura, maybe as a chocolate skin tone, but I don't know anymore. Um, I think I want to pick me something a little bit more rare um, than the Laura, because Laura's is like a million and one. So um, in fact, I have one here that I just been just looking at. I I haven't really had a desire to paint that one yet. But, um, yeah, anyway, let me go. Um, so I will see you guys in the next video.